Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to get this bright, fun makeup look. It's great for the summer or the spring or just any day you feel like wearing right makeup. Okay, so first things first, prime your eyes. Now, I'm actually going to be using petroleum jelly. Um, petroleum jelly or Vaseline actually makes a great eyeshadow primer. I can actually do a video on the million, million uses of petroleum jelly, so just need a little bit. Just put it on your lid. Okay, so now moving on to eyeshadow. I'm actually going to be taking my e.l.f. Um, Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. This is the 144 one. Of course, you don't always have to get this one. Duh, just use similar similar colors. We're going to take a... Um, just take a white or like the lightest color you can... In your palette. And I'm going to take a white. And just like put a little bit of that. You don't want too much because... It won't look right, so yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my flat shader brush, which I need to clean. I'm actually gonna take some makeup, eye makeup remover wipes, just really quickly clean this off. And I'm gonna take my hand and just gonna wipe it on my hand. Okay, now I'm gonna take a very bright yellow and put that on the inner third of my eyes so like make sure you get the inner corner too just take a very br like a very very bright eyeshadow white i mean yellow eyeshadow and put that on the inner third of your lid okay so now you can take a light blue or your pink i'm going to be using the light blue here um, just kind of like a light blue. I'm actually going to mix a light matte light blue with a shimmering one. And put that on the center of your lid. But if you're going to do this with the pink, you know, do the same thing. And we're going to go back over this so, you know, don't, just, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the pink eyeshadow. Make sure it's like um, a baby pink color. So, like, you know, it's not going to show up on camera. So, just make sure it's kind of like a baby pink color. And put that on the outer third of your lid. Just kind of like... Work that into the crease. Once again, this is not going to be perfect, but we're going to touch it up later. So, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to take my blending brush. This is also from e.l.f. I don't know if I mentioned these were from e.l.f., but you're going to take it and kind of soften up the harsh edges on your lid. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking a cream eyeshadow. But I actually, you can also use this as an eyeliner. This is a Maybelline New York Color Chat 2 24 7 eyeshadow slash eyeliner. This one's in the shade Tenacious Teal. Um, and I love this. You can use a blue eyeshadow or a blue pencil, eyeliner pencil, but I'm going to use a cream. I'm going to load it up on my little brush here. This came with an old thing, Maduda. Okay. And you're going to line your waterline, but of course, if you're not comfortable lining your waterline, just do your lower lash line. Okay, once you're done lining your waterline, take an eyelash curler. This one's from e.l.f. and curl down lashes. 
unless your eyelash is already naturally curly, then you are so lucky. So lucky. Do you know how badly I want your lashes if your lashes are naturally curly? Mine are like invisible. And then take your favorite mascara. I'm going to be using the Colossal Volume Express from Maybelline New York. And three lashes. You want a mascara that gives you like a clean look. And just do the top lashes for right now. Okay. Okay, so now what you can do, this is totally optional, but if you don't have a blue cream liner, then you can skip this step. But I'm going to take my blue, blue cream liner, this is the same one from Maybelline, and put this on my lashes, my lower lashes, so they look blue. And then I'm going to put some on my top lashes. This is also a good trick if you want a colored, you want your lashes to be colored, but you don't have a colored mascara. Okay, now we're going to move on to the rest. Um, first, I'm going to take a fan brush and brush away any powder that I might have fallen. This one's from e.l.f. And now take um, your concealer. This is again by e.l.f. I kind of love e.l.f. if you didn't notice. This is the corrective concealer quad and just conceal any imperfections. For me that's mostly my dark circles and a little bit of redness around my nose. So just conceal those. And then I'm going to take my CoverGirl Press Powder in the shade 125. I'm going to take my powder brush, my Flawless Face Brush from Bare Essentials. Bare Essentials, yeah. Okay, this is not as big as I'd like it to be, but it's good. It's densely packed, so I like that. Tap off the excess and just apply it on. And then I'm going to apply my blush. This is the Maybelline New York Dream Bouncy Blush. We want our cheeks to have a healthy glow. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. blush brush. Dip it in there. And sometimes it's just easier to use your fingers with this blush. And just apply. Anyways, now we're going to move on to our lips. I'm going to be taking a lip balm first. I'm going to be using my baby lips lip balm. This is in peppermint. And apply on your lips. I'm actually going to be using a lip stain that I made. It's, it's just a red one. Of course, you know, you can just get your own lip stain. I'm going to take a... Where's my cute tip? Where's my cute tip? Let me go get it. Okay, so I'm okay, so I'm back. So it's just got a Q-tip and it's got Vaseline in here and just dip it in. And I want that bitten look, like after you eat a snow cone. So I'm gonna do a bitten look. Yeah. Doing a bitten look. Now we're going to move on to our brows. Of course, if your brows are just naturally full, go ahead and skip this step. But if they are naturally full, I want your brows. Um, I'm going to take a dark brown color. And, yep, just taking a dark brown color. Make sure it's matte. It looks more natural. And fill in my brows. <laughs> 